Welcome back, friends. We are now ready to write our first draft of our personal narrative. So you're going to start on this slide here where it says type your title here. So you don't have to think of your title until you're all the way done with your writing. But I already thought of mine. Mine is called an almost scary encounter. Notice how I, my title had too many words and it was in the type, the text is too big. I can highlight all of that and I can make it smaller by pressing this minus button right here until I have it as small as I want it. Then I'm going to fill this in by Mrs. Carlson. Okay, here we go. This is where we are going to start typing. I'm going to hit the backspace button to delete all that text and I'm going to start right here at the beginning. Now, before each paragraph that we type, you are going to use an indent before the paragraph starts. To make an indent, well, first of all, what an indent is, it's like a bunch of spaces before the word. And it makes it easier to tell that you are starting a new paragraph. To make an indent, press the tab key, T-A-B, it's on the left side. Press the tab key on your keyboard. Notice how my cursor, the little blinky line, moved over a few spaces. That is what an indent is. And this is where I'm going to start the beginning of my story. Now, you can look back at your planning sheet to see what you said about what you're going to include in the beginning. I said, all right, so it's a sunny day during summer break at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. Everything was going well. I was with my client friends. Okay, I know I want to include all of that. Now I'm going to put all of that in one paragraph. So here we go. I'm going to start typing. I'm going to add my indent by pressing tab. And I'm going to start typing the beginning. I'm going to start with one bright sunny day. I was, oops, one bright sunny day. I was rock climbing at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. I just introduced my setting. Hmm, everything was wonderful. The sun was shining. It was summer break. And all of my friends were there. It felt like it was about to be the best day ever. Oops, ever. And that's gonna be my introduction, my first paragraph, my beginning. All right, I'm done with that paragraph. Now I'm gonna press the Enter key. And you see, oh, my computer already did it for me. It added an indent for me. I'm gonna hit the backspace so I can show you what to do just in case yours doesn't do that. I hit the enter button and then I'm gonna hit the tab key because every paragraph we are going to indent. And you'll see when I'm all done, it'll be really nice because you'll be able to tell where my paragraphs are. Now I'm going to start writing the meat of my story, the middle. So I'm gonna go back up here to remind myself from my plan what I'm going to write about. So let's see, I started climbing, I felt something fuzzy, I got scared and nervous, I, was, I screamed, I wanted to come down, I was brave and kept going. Okay, those are the things I'm going to write about. Now, I'm gonna to get to writing. Now remember that it's okay if it takes you longer to write your paragraphs than it takes me I've been writing for a really long time and that's why it doesn't take me very long, but you're just learning how to do this. So it's okay if it takes you way longer than it takes me to type out these paragraphs. So I'm going to say enter. Oops, oops. Oop. Okay, enter. And then tab if I need to. I may already do that for you. And I'm going to start writing the meat, the middle of my story. So hmm, I'm going to start it out like this. After eating some eggs for breakfast, I started climbing up the wall for my first climb of the day. Oops, 
There we go. Do some editing on the fly there. Okay, it started on the first climb of the day. I climbed up and up, higher and higher. As I was climbing, I was breathing heavy, heavily. So see how this word has its underlined in red? That means I spelled it wrong. I spelled breathing wrong. What you can do to fix words when you're typing to, to spell them correctly is click on the right side of your trackpad or the right part of your mouse. And then it will say up here, did you mean breathing? Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm going to click that to change it to breathing. As I was climbing, I was breathing heavily. Let's see. Hmm, what should I include next? I was getting tired, but I kept going. Right as I was about to reach the very last handhold on my climb, I touched something fuzzy. And I'm going to put in all caps because it's something that's ah, really scary. Okay. And I'm going to put an exclamation point. I screamed. Ah. And all of my, oops, my friends looked up to see what was the matter. My hand touched something fuzzy. I said to my friends, Hello. I was, oops, there we go. I was so scared. I almost kept, I almost wanted to come down. So I took a deep breath and kept climbing. Hey, my middle part kind of leaves you on a cliffhanger. That means it leaves you wondering what's going to happen next. So if you noticed, I added some quotations in my writing where I, where I put in quotation marks right here, some things that I said. You can try that if you want, but you don't have to do that yet in your writing. We're going to be doing more lessons on that later. I just included it in my writing and you can include it in yours if you want to. Okay, now I'm going to write my conclusion. I'm going to go up here, write my ending and conclusion. Let's see. I wrote notes that I saw the fuzzy thing was just a caterpillar. It wasn't scary after all. And I moved him and kept climbing without smashing him. Okay, so this is where my story has a resolution or it, it has a, it, I solve it basically. And it's, it's a, it's the ending, everything's better and everything is great. All right, so I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna hit the tab button and I'm gonna get to typing. Finally, I was up high enough to where I could see what the fuzzy thing, oh, what the fuzzy miss, what fuzzy thing was. Turns out it was just a little caterpillar in my way. It wasn't scary at all. So I took the caterpillar and moved him aside so that I could keep climbing without smashing him. The end. I'm all done. So next, for next lesson, you're going to be going through your final checklist. But for the next three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I want you to work on writing your story. Now, I want you to make sure that everything that you're writing is going in order of what happened. So don't write about 
your don't write about touching the fuzzy caterpillar and then write about having breakfast in the morning. That doesn't go in order. I ate breakfast first, so I have to write about that first, and then I write about the fuzzy caterpillar. All right. Good luck, everybody. I can't wait to see what you're writing about, and I can't wait to see. I can't wait to hear your stories about your life. All right. Have fun.